It's going to be very isolated. Yep, all by his lonesome inside the tube here. The shots come through, though, and he's going to find the first. He's holding it down, and he's still healthy doing it. Mikhail is able to trade it back and shot up on the rotate with Gangsta. Able to pick up a few. IMT, though. Number's going to get cut down. Now we're even across the board, and Chemical's the man who made it back. Looking to turn the round upside down as Kusta will fall and shot up to get it an IMT for the first. They're up against since they were pushed off the of showers by Kusta, who was playing smart. And now Sean's able to get up into short A and take a pick into U-Haul on top of it. So they are creating a lot of presence all across the map. Yeah, one gets taken out, but they still have a huge edge here. And able to upgrade there. Another stinger kill. Looking for that rifle. Another one to follow. Chemicals goes huge here. And I was talking about it before the broadcast. This guy just clicks head. Everybody on this team just clicks head here. It's all down to one. It's all down to win. And unfortunately, not going to be enough. So that bonus wow. round, it ate off. GMD is able to pick one up in return. But it's only the sheriffs across the board. Chemical's still alive, so you need to be wary of this raise inside the showers. Three are going to push him, and three are going to take him down. But he finds one, the martyrdom kill on the way out and shot up. He's able to help out as well. Now a stinger pushing on through that U-Haul area. On, on the site with the spike planted in a 3v2, make it a 3v1. Everybody mowed down here, Immortal, just grab a four. Of Immortal's utility there. They burnt the showstopper, they burnt the paint shells. So chemicals really did expend a lot there to slow them down, where they ultimately are still going to take showers in the end. But the run it back from shot up, this could be the X factor. But no, he's not going to the kill, but luckily chemicals is there for the follow up. Chemicals trades it out. The knives are going to be used by Huynh here and shot up. Just going huge here. Three kills, leaving it to just the knives for Gen G. Around that, we weren't necessarily expecting them to win somehow, some way. Huynh picks up another Chemicals to sit him down. And I mean, that was that was a Chemicals and shot up round. A little bit of a different tool to work with. But again, Immortals just not letting them have showers for free. Not at all here, Sean. Gonna cut down the numbers to one here. It's just up to shot up. No longer the shot up and chemicals show as they've been taken off the board. And Gen G look to find their oh. first. Another one through the smoke. Sean goes huge for three. And Gen G might just find their first round, but they still have to worry about gangsta and nature. Yeah, Immortals just trying to, you know, run with the old idiom of if it's not broke, don't fix it. But Gen G make a great adjustment and shut them down and get some big and make them worry a bit, maybe try to drop a, a guy, make them rebuy a weapon, but in reality, he's gonna have to just back off here and concede. And so finally, Genji are gonna get around on the board after a very labored start to the half. Gamon will go ahead and clean up Gangsta there, so. Just barely misses. The only info you really get is that the Sova still might be there. Two through the teleporter zone might have been a fake, but no, it's IMT shot up. Gonna go on through. Now Nature nice. picks up another kill, just closing it out. Hunter Fury was traded, and Gen G now will mm. down to the last one standing. Side showers. Great decision. JC Stani shot up, working hand in hand. They are going to teleport on over. JC Stani going to try and meet him here in this elbow position as they jump on the side. The operator, what kind of value can you get? One gets spotted out. It's the headshot. It's the spike. Now he just has to hold it. GMD is going to take down the imposter. But he has to do what seems like the impossible here. Shot up from behind, picks it up. And Genji, they're scrapping dust, but it's just not enough. Played some rotations, but now they just want to kind of settle in together. They have their from the shadows if they want to put it to use at A Heaven. They have their smokes. They have their, their ability to blast pack in with Sean. They have the operator on Huynh here, so they can definitely make some picks happen. Everybody's still alive and kicking here for this Genji roster. And you can't say the same for IMT. Is shot up going to be the next to fall? The operator's still holding it down. Push towards showers. That recon bolt comes through. The kill's going to be traded back and forth. It's both omens on the board as Gimon looks to sneak away. On holding down a tight angle here. It's down to the last two. The rotator's coming over from B in Gangsta and Nature. Now it's just down to Gangsta who has to do the unthinkable in a 1v3. Could possibly get it done. Has a shock dart to his name. We'll toss that one out. Working against the clock here. Defenders got to go. Immortals looking to close out another round, but it's mm. Gen G instead. Eight to two now. We will go, and we're inching closer to the half. That's going to tell a lot because Sean's the, the point of the spear, right? So with him being there, they kind of know that it might be a lay on B site. And they're running out of time, so they're just going to have to send it here as that spike moves on up. Sean going to go in with the showstopper. Finds that kill onto Nature, knowing he's playing too. Team on on the back of the site, waiting for anybody to push out. And Win goes huge in close quarters with the operator. Now the numbers are starting to get evened out, but that neural theft 
going to show the two remaining here for IMT as Genji look to secure another in a 2v3. The satchel comes through, chemicals goes down, and now it's all up to Gangsta with 21 HP dust. I mean, again, another tall order here for the Sova. Indeed, I don't really expect him to do a whole lot here. He's going to obviously go for it because money is going to be available to buy next round no matter what. So attempted it, but it's just going to be too uphill of a climb. So as you have shock darts, you have you know, different types of Molotovs. So to be able to pick that kill up, absolutely huge. We'll see now Genji on the back foot, what they can get done. One's going to get spotted in between Ouch. the cages. It's Kusta, and it's all starting to come down here just before the half. I'm going to toss out some paint shells of his own. Tries to clear out towards elbow. Is able to find that kill onto nature once more. But on low HP, Gangsta trades it back. That's a 2v4. Once more, Gen G running down the clock. They will be able to get that spike down. But now we'll see the post plant positions coming on through. Yeah, again, Immortal's able to get that early shower control, get the early rotation. They also caught the lurk of Kusa. If Kusa could have gotten a pick and gotten to U-Haul, they may have had to stay on to A, but because they caught him, they're able to rotate comfortably and with a massive man advantage. Gamon trying to see if he can still put up some heroics to help his team through with the help of his teammate, Quinn, but there's just too many forces still available for Immortals to trade their way out. That's going to put them at the 9-3 lead as we switch sides. They're running out of time. That's the thing is they, they've been so methodical rotating over, but because everybody had to do just that, the Molotov comes through. Paranoia on top. Who's still going to find the first? JC Sonny trades it back, but I mean, it's just looking like an attacker sided round. Nobody on the spike here. What? Everybody getting mowed down, and they don't have the time falling back and trying to hold on to this angle but he's gonna get flashed and i have to turn lance now being taken he's got a nice little one-way cage sitting right there but stani doesn't care about that he's gonna find the entry anyway he still sees the little toesies there of kusa now they're just running them down this is where again imt thrives in the chaos as it's all up to win once more and the spike is down it's a 1v4 you just really have to send it no saving and the first kill comes through. Low HP on shot up. Could find another. But then the next two, it's uh, an uphill battle for sure. Dash into the smoke and unfortunately meets his two type of scenario. And it really is a strong weapon to have. And, oh, okay. I, if he would have pulled that off, bro, I, I would have got out of here. It was, it was looking to be fancy. Unfortunately, <laughs> he, he falls flat on his face there. The teleporter also taken... My Gimon, unfortunately, going to fall once more. So nothing seeming to work here. And yet another Don't force round left. for Gen.G. Yeah. I mean, the writing is seemingly being drawn across the wall at this point. But there is maybe a way back. Sean might find the timing here. But they all port right into his face. Now it's on Mikhail playing from Octagon. Gets his man able to get back and hold on the control along B to potentially set up a retake. He has Hunter's Fury as oh, Never mind. Forget everything I just <sighs> said. He's gone. Nerf the classic again from downtown. The right click picked it up, and Sean was taking the teleporter shortly, already giving his position away, is able to find one, but it's just not enough. And as we said, Dust, Gen G are looking at there was a trap wire there, which basically saved Chemical's life. He didn't want to push any further into the spawn because of that trap wire, and he turns away, which there was one waiting for him inside that spawn so very unfortunate now mikhail able to use that hunter sherry but he's just Whoa. getting killed from back halls nobody clearing it out the showstopper gonna be used it's not gonna do it just yet it's the classic up top now win needs to do some heroics here working against the clock working against three members here has to go for the defuse but instead it's jc stani to close it out and 13 to 3 end map one and then you know chemicals of course will be on the jet on ascent as opposed to the rays so about what you'd expect. As again, Genji starting out on the attack, caging off Catwalk to try to work their way up middle, and Huynh able to get a huge pick on Shut Up right off the bat. And there's the Reina that you were talking about. Now, trade kills to come back. No, it's Win once more to take down Nature. Wow, what an aggressive start here from Genji, trying to play that IMT style, and they're making it work. Now, Gimon trying to get some more. There's a bit of a flank coming on through from the defenders, but they're all just getting mowed down. What a way to battle back here. Now one remaining. It's Gangsta who finds himself needing to pick up a multi-kill, just like we saw in map number one. But Gen G looking to close it out here, Dust. What a statement. Yeah, that was big. They just basically caged off Catwalk so they could just work up middle together as a unit, and they were able to find two entries very rapidly, and that was pretty much the round done for at that point. So a great response from Jinji after getting absolutely trounced 
on map one on bind they're able to you know get a fresh start here on ascent put that one behind them and then win in dominant fashion yeah a few other players are really low on health he's having sean and win pop off is exactly the recipe for success that you're going to be wanting it's when picks up on chemicals trying to be cheeky up close with the shorty jc stani at least able to trade it back and pick up a specter but genji still have man advantage and they have control of the a site and they know that jc stani is still here towards me but they're trying to jump in on him and it almost cost them dearly, but Gamon luckily able to stop that from happening. Now they have the three on two post plant here at A. The timing there for Sean. The blaze wall goes down perfectly. The turret doesn't detect him. And it's all up to Shot up here, who was the first dead in the first round. Now looking to be the last here. Finds a kill, able to heal up. The overheal going to come through as well. Sheriff in hand. Now this is looking pretty winnable. He's got to clear out the site though. And... Mikhail gonna sit him down. Genji, pick up another for a moment, try and get a bit safer. Amical's still alive, so player you have to worry about. Shot up as well. Can have an angle for himself. Able to find the first right by generator. Nose one down. Under heaven is trying to run and spray the dismiss to get away. And a huge trade kill. Gangsta there to back him up. Now it's a 2v1. Sean has been hot before, and we're seeing him get extra hot here with the run it back. The fake defuse comes through. Last one out, Heaven. Run it back, gonna be taken down. Now they're looking to get it halfway. Gangsta actually just looking to stick it all the way as they try and get on in. The turret gonna delay them, but IMT will find the round. They battle back. Rifles go their way. This Heaven position, but the Blaze Wall gonna keep him corralled. The spike yet to be planted. Now Kusta gonna fake to get that one down, see if anybody chooses to peek it. Now he's gonna actually stick it this time around. It's the same kind of setup as Sean. Finds another shot up, goes good for two, but it's traded back immediately. We find ourselves once more in a 2v1. Now a 1v1 here as nature closes it out to tie things up. Holding fast, one towards A, one towards B. So it's gonna be a 2v1 in a very long time to rotate. Sean has the run it back available again. Gangsta looking to mow him down here. With the Odin in hand, just trying to stay away from the ultimate. John gonna be sent back, but he shot in the back, and now that 2v2 becomes another, and they almost run out of time. So down to the wire here in the 1v1. So oh much my. used. What a game we've had here. Only five rounds in. As nature goes to peak, he doesn't find the kill. Mikhail sits him down, and Gen G grab one back on the fight and shot up looking to bring the fight right to him with the stinger in hand oh he's lined up two with the hunter's fury and delayed the spike plant and look at how much damage some of these gen g players have already taken immortals might still have a chance at winning this round they do have their own hunter's fury though for pros plan and this is i mean like you said the damage is just so huge because that stinger just closes it out onto gimond and from downtown was able to trade it back but 50 hp is all he has and once more, we're in the 1v1, and it's reminiscent of round number five. Here we go. The Nano Swarm, the head going to be spotted out. Mikhail tosses out the dart. It's going to be shot down. It's low HP on both members, and he's just trying to buy time so Nature cannot find the defuse. Nature's going to find the kill this time around. He gets his revenge, and we're all tied up. <laughs> Yeah, it is funny how it plays out that way, right? It was Nature losing the 1v1 to Mikhail over on B in the previous round with his lockdown. This time, he's able to win it with just his bullets and Immortals. Immortals are working with perfect info right now. This is brilliant. And they have man advantage on it. Oh, my. Make it another. Almost one more. Sean, though, has been hot for this Gen G roster. The op shot going to go wide on that as well. As we see Chemical switching up his position. Now, Nature, JC Stani going to be holding the cross here. A little bit of damage traded, it seemed, as the Nano Swarm gonna stop the push. Oh the spike my. is now down, and again, Genji on the back foot. Sean gets traded out, and it's all up to Huynh. We've seen so many scenarios like this. Genji no. gonna come out on top. He makes it a 1v1, but he's on 36 HP. Oh my, this would be an absolutely crazy effort if Huynh's able to pull this all the way off. He's gonna get the spike plan. He's got the ult as well, but he's on low health. That's the big problem for him. He's got to get the jump on his opponent. The post plan on A, this is where he feels comfortable. Every single round we've seen it like this, but we've seen IMT retake with ease. Now, Chemicals, full HP. He'd be able to drop down silently here onto this site. There it is. The shot comes through. He swings a corner and win gets it. Don Gen G are back on the board. Trying to steal it back over and over. Now, Chemicals posturing aggressively once more and almost spotting out one. Sean holding the angle. This is not an angle that you usually want to peek because Sean is just on the line here. As they push up towards mid, Shot Up going to sit one down. So now we're even. As that run it back comes through, the flash goes out and Shot Up will fall. Now the storm onto this B site will take place. And it's down to the last three here for IMT. As Yoden looks to spray, the Neural Theft gets the information. 
make it to oh, as no. they start to get whittled. Back to a slower approach, but everybody oh. stacked up. Sean with a huge flick to again stay hot in this game. Shot up is able to trade it back. So we're even across the board, but Gen G still postured up here in an awkward spot. Two members quite possibly stuck on the catwalk. Ganks are going to back mm. away, so they should be able to get out, but they're holding fast. That spike just holding the rear. Yeah, you could tell that Immortals were trying to run that little bait and switch it up on Catwalk to kind of allow that, you know, Stinger to come out and catch the one off guard. But Sean just flicked on it and was able to keep it in a four on four. And now they're starting to probably open the safe site. They are doing just that. Kills can be traded back and forth, though. Shot up once more in the heaven position. Chemicals close quarters, able to find the kill with the operator, but sat down not before trading. Quite left. a bit of damage there with the classic. That right click to the head. Knocks the health down low onto GMD as the lockdown comes through. He's forced to use that from the shadows to escape, and we'll see how this A side plans out. A shot up looks to push on. Quinn trying to back away is going to get caught out, not before finding a kill. And this is the 20 HP Omen against the just about full HP Reyna here, and needs to be another heroic effort as that spike was faked. GMD, he's not buying this one. The fuse going to come on through again. Now he's looking to try and peek. He doesn't find the shot. Shot up to get it back. And we are toe for toe here. Tit for tat. Five to five again. And the blades traded out. There's a the Hunter's Fury as well. Trying to sit something down. Shot up. Able to sneak away from that one. Here's the Jekko up top. It's Jet V. Jen Huynh comes out on top. But the trades come right back. And Gen G find themselves with a player advantage. They look to push up here onto the catwalk. Nature going to be taken down from the back of the side. It's all up to one it's the rotator back in b main and i don't know how much ganks has got going for him he's sitting on 39 hp from the beginning of that round yeah this has been a fantastic b split here from Jin g thanks to the opening pick they found with win over in a lobby they were able to roll that into a brilliant set piece now gangsta trying to be the spoiler of it as he's trying to work this clutch out. He's got some abilities still to spin, but again, not the health points. He sight, a nano swarm gonna delay it for just a moment as that Hunter Shuri trying to delay as well, and he's able to find one. GMD gets traded back in the 4v4. Gen G look to push their lead. IMT trying to make it even at the half, but Kusta says no way, Jose, as he finds two. Chemicals trades it back. Once more, a 2v3 situation for IMT. Gangsta. On the rotate, low HP as well on chemicals as he dashes across, 45 health and a dream, a vandal to his name and running out of time is IMT. He's gonna drop down onto log. Sean is watching it and Sean will take him down. The shock dart might not be enough because we know just how hot he is. It's seven to five at the half, Gen G. Well, so this round really is that coin flip here. This is actually very reminiscent of game number two where it was the same exact thing, mm -hmm. just an opposite letter shot up now. Playing aggressive inside of B main. Sean gonna trade it back, and Sean just cannot be silenced here in this series. Finally, he will go down, not before finding a bit of damage onto JC Stani. Mikhail trying to get onto that site, but oh my god, the nano swarms from nature. IMT close it out and close the gap. Still on the way out. I do, it, it looks like Genji just wanna save. Mmm. Okay, yeah, now they're just running. Okay, now yeah. it is. Okay, the kills to follow. I, that was, I was going to be incredibly confused if they save there. They take the thousand credits that you get. Yeah. And going into the next round, you're sitting on like 2,600. Through an IMT on their bonus round completely in the driver's seat. It is going to be full rifles. There's going to be a kill to come on through. So now things looking a bit even as far as manpower goes. But shot up, cuts them down. Sean will follow the lockdown. Keeps him in place. And IMT looking to reap the benefits of hanging on to the stingers here. Oh my, what a brilliant maneuver there from shot up. You almost feel like gut wrench for Gen G because they seem to have all the right protocols in place to keep tabs on that very type of situation. But shot up just found the perfect timing window to dodge the camp and not get jump peaked to actually get in and get the pick. And then with the lockdown in play, I mean, it was all for the taking at that point. A van advantage, so there's no alts in play mm. for Gen G. This should go Immortal's way unless they overextend. Uh, Speaking of overextend. Did that shock dart just not do anything? It just hit that back wall and didn't have an explosion? It, it, very interesting as now we might see 
explosion onto the site from Gen G. Again, it's pistols for a handful. GMG was the hero rifle. It is down now, picked up by Mikhail. In a 2v2, is a nano swarm available on the spike? It is not. It's just going to be the fight taken. It's just going to be nature sitting them all down as IMT grab another. An extra man is here, though, with Sean playing on the back of the site. So we'll see what he can get done. It's from the shadow is going to be used to get onto the site. The flash comes through. JC Sonny just trying to spray it down. They know they're running out of time here. They have to get the spike down. Finally, they do as they clear out the site and they clear out another. A 2v4 retake. The Empress is on. And win and GMD have to do something crazy and instead it looks like just a save. And it, it's just it's not looking good. The no. pressure on this A site, nobody can even find a way in. And and just when you thought maybe a kill lands, there it is. Okay, that kill does follow through. Nature gonna trade back too though, and it's all starting to fall apart. Running out of time is Gen G. Running out of players is Gen G. As Nature finds himself a 4K on that thrifty round and IMT pushed to 11. It's all stacked against Gen G here. Shot up, looks to position aggressively. Oh, the, the, the recon gets taken down by somebody else, but Win still dies, not expecting the push alongside GMD. That was so it perfect. Wasn't enough, yeah. I mean, that's basically the drone playing as a sacrificial entry fragger to set up the trade. Yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful use of the drone. You always got to be wearisome of someone following that and shot up shows you just why as he gets a brilliant kill towards run. middle. And now they can start collapsing on A. They're going to lock down to enforce this hit. Chemicals does get darted. And again, there is Hunter's Fury that could stop the spike plant. But all in all, it's looking wonderful for Immortals. Oh, my. Oh, even more so. Chemicals right to the grape of Kusta. It's going to get popped. The Nano Swarm not needed, but was used for safe measures. Now, JC Thani tosses out that paranoia. A flash in response from Sean. Everybody looks Ooh. to back away. Sean now creeping up solo dolo here towards heaven. Maybe oh. it's looking like a save going Ouch. into map point. This feels rough. Yeah, it's like you really want to be able to use the Hunter's Fury to stall out a plant and let the run it back come into fruition to try to go for the retake. So now they have to save it and they have to win five rounds in a row just to force an overtime, just to force a chance in the third map. I mean, Immortals are just picking them apart and I feel like it just all comes down to first bloods. Like, I feel like Immortals mm -hmm. are getting the opening pick every round this half, it feels. And so you, you kind of say... Yopshot goes wide there, no. unfortunately. And Chemicals again, insult to injury as they just keep finding more. Gimond will fall and this half, considering what we've seen so far. And again, yard sale by close range though. Kusa comes out on top with two, trying to keep Genji alive as the Hunter Shuri finds another. It's down to the last two, the heroic efforts. Kusa finds another. The op shot goes wide. Chemicals makes it away. We'll see what the jet here decides to do. Not a whole lot of options on the way out, Dust. No, nah, he's just gonna, the option. That's a smart play. He knows that they're not going to have the economy to really buy it. Uh, so throwing it out of the mat to where they can't pick it up is a really good thought from Chemicals. Here's the problem. I don't think Kusta really needed to burn Neural Theft there. And so the fact that he did use it means that they don't have it for future rounds. Might be first to contact here. He takes down the drone. Mokes go through. He's got some ideas Ouch. and shot up, sits him down. That's one of two ultimates trying to keep Genji alive. Now taken off the board. Shot up again. How many first bloods had this guy had in this half? He is constantly getting up middle and constantly wreaking havoc on the Genji defense. Gimon at least able to respond, swinging off a catwalk. Gets it back into a four on four, but Hunter's Fury from Gangsta is going to clear the way for a take here on this B site. Shot up, reinforcing it with another entry onto Mikhail. And now it's a three on two post plant for Motors. There is a run it back for Sean Shore, but it's still going to be a tough retake for these two guys. They do have the opposing Sova on low HP, but they just they don't have a whole lot of territory to work from. I mean, it's tit for tat in this round, right? It was tit for tat in rounds in the first half. Now in this last one, just when you thought Gen G was battling back, they just get traded out. Now, Sean, doing his due diligence. If you want anybody in the 2v3 clutch, it is going to be Sean. It is going to be Kusta, who picked up four in that last round. Now the run it back finally going to be used. It's going to get sent right back. And it looks like Gen G running out of options once more, running out of players. The last one inside, it's shot up. Who better than to close it out? 13 to 8 as Immortals move forward here in the winner's bracket.